Let's talk about user interfaces and particularly about the Facebook user interface. You'll hear uh, an interview with Greg Badros about uh, Facebook user interface and I want to prepare you for that. I want to first give you the idea of well, what is a user interface? Every machine, whether it's a video camera or a phone or a car or a hammer, anything that's a machine has some sort of way that you operate it, some way to control it, some way to make it do the things that it does. We call that the user interface. So our entire computers, so that, that's all user interface across all machines. Now let's focus in on user interface that's on computers. The computer itself has a user interface. So if you're on a Macintosh, you might call that OS 10 is the user, it provides the user interface as some program and there's commands and there's folders and all those kinds of things. That's the user interface of the computer itself. The browser that you look at Facebook in has a user interface. So the browser itself has commands. There's a home command, a home button, and there's a little place where you type in URLs and there's favorites and all those kind of things. All those bits and pieces constitute the user interface, the way that you work the browser. So there's a way that you work the computer. That's the computer's user interface. There's the way that you work the browser. That's the browser's user interface. And then within the browser, there's Facebook. And Facebook has a user interface. The way that you operate Facebook. The way that you make Facebook do the things that it does. That's the user interface of Facebook. So every machine has a user interface. And your computer has multiple user interfaces all interacting at the same time. There's the computer itself has a user interface, Windows or Macintosh user interface, whatever it is. There's the browser that has its user interface, how you make the browser do what it does. And then there's Facebook that has a user interface, how do you make Facebook do what it does, all nested inside of each other. So what is a user interface exactly? Well, the user interface really consists of controls, things that allow you to make things happen. In addition, usually we throw in some other parts into the user interface as well as controls. The controls are the things that make things happen. You, when you click on a link, that's a control. It's controlling something. It's making something happen. When you click on a button, that's a control. That makes something happen. When you drop down a menu and choose something from the menu, that's a control. It makes something happen. It's a command. It tells, the, it tells Facebook or the browser or the computer, whatever it is, whatever level you're working on, it tells it what to do. Usually, when we talk about user interface, we also include other things besides the controls that are action-oriented, that make things happen. We talk about the different areas of the display as being part of the user interface. So we have, as part of our user interface, a banner at the top, navigation on the side, and a footer on the bottom, for example. So we can include those display areas as well as part of the user interface. We can include decorations as well as part of the interface. The, fonts that we use and the colors that we use and the images and logos and all those kinds of things that kind of decorate the edges of the, of the presentation. We usually include those when we talk about user interface as well. And then finally we include content often when we talk about user interface. The pictures and text and, and videos and sound clips and all those kinds of things that we display on the page are also generally thought of as part of the user interface. So the user, user interface really specifically is the control mechanism. It's the buttons that you press and the dials that you turn and, and the things that you click on to make stuff happen. That's the real core of the user interface. But surrounding that are display areas and different kinds of decorations, different kinds of embellishments on the screen, as well as content that you might see on the screen. Now, of course, where's the dividing line between content and, and, and control? When I have a hyperlink and I click on a piece of text and that piece of text takes me to another page, is that content or is that a control? Well, the answer is it's functioning in both ways. It's functioning as content and also as a control. So as usual, the simple explanation of there's content and there's controls breaks down upon further examination and we see that it's a lot more complicated than that. At any rate, a user interface, really the core of the interface is the controls. Surrounding the controls are all these other, um, all these other sort of embellishments on the controls.